How did you kind of view the Muslim community? Yeah, I mean, like I think I said at the beginning, I was fearful on public transport. I just presumed they were all out to, you know, to harm us. Um, I felt if, if I was in a shop, I'd see somebody in a burqa, I'd straight away feel on my guard, and I was generally frightened. You and know? where had those opinions been formed? Where had they come from? I think a lot from like the media, the, the, you know, the papers when. Unfortunately, you know, terrorist atrocities happen. People always point the finger negatively towards Muslims. And because you read it and because you, you don't know any better, you know, and I think through mine was a lot to do with ignorance because I didn't know anything different. So mm. that's kind of, you know, the way I got my um, views and opinions. And it's interesting, Simon, because there's a moment where in the documentary, when Katie comes to live with you, you say you thought that, that opinions like that were held by very right wing, racist, ignorant bigots. And here you have someone who works in the health industry who is uh, a, a lovely, down-to-earth woman with a young family, holding the same sort of opinions. That must have been quite shocking for you to hear that. I, I think it definitely was, uh, because I'd normally associated people probably having those opinions as a bit more aggressive mm. and malicious. But I, I think, unfortunately, Katie was a product of her environment, social condi conditioning, you know, where we've got the commonplace demonization of Muslims throughout the media. Um, Islamophobia, etc. You know what she meant to think. You know when you know I, I, I teach children in a secondary school. So they all know what a burqa is. Uh, you know, for goodness' sake. Sometimes you know they, they 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 have difficulty with other things, but they all know what a burqa is because that is what is being pumped out. If you are reading day in day out, you know sensational headlines, negative headlines about Muslims sex grooming, halal meat, sharia law, burqas, again and again, and it's being pumped and pumped in such a negative way. What do you expect? I mean, ironically and tragically, you were filming and then you were in Manchester and the Manchester mm. bombings hit. How did that change everything for you? How did you feel when that happened? Yeah, it was just, I mean, obviously nobody can predict these things, but I've, I've, I thought of all the programmes we're making, the subject we're trying to mm, come, yeah, come yeah. across, that happened. Really? When I went back to school that week to teach, I said to my students, what do you think Mrs Alvey thought when the bomb happened? And you know, my students said, you thought you, your community is going to get blamed. I said, but you've missed a step. I was grieving, I was mourning, I was sad. It wasn't just about myself and self-preservation. That Kate, that does come by that second. So, you know, that is sad because we were in mourning. Of course we were in mourning. Innocent people were killed. Mm. It was tragic, it was senseless, as I said. So I, I think Katie did really experience that with me because we both watched it together. She could see what my genuine feelings were. And as my daughter had said, when I said, you know, you can't get the tram, um, I said, she said, why? I said, because well, you're wearing a hijab and this bomb has happened. She said, well, what have I got to do with it? I didn't do anything, you know, from the mouths of babes. I, you know, I realise now looking back that the things I said were completely unjustified and mm. to be on the receiving end of the abuse, that's why I think without the prosthetics it wouldn't have worked yeah. because I wouldn't have got that. So how could I explain how it felt if it hadn't happened to me personally? So, And you would have been recognised if you'd just mm. donned a hijab as, as Katie, they would have recognised you. And, you know, it certainly yeah. wasn't to create a caricature mm. or for entertainment and, of mm. course, you know, the historical critique of black facing I fully endorse. So, you know, we wouldn't, it was not to mock an ethnic Absolutely. group. I am part of that ethnic group mm. proudly part of an ethnic group so you know that unfortunately it's become a bit overshadowed by that argument but I mm. think there's a very positive message that comes out and I do think that um, engagement is a two-sided street so mm. it's about communities engaging and when I realized what small communities like Katie's are like I, mm. I thought you know what then maybe people like us should go out to those communities I'd, yeah. I'd like to take my little stall Absolutely. give out donuts <laughs> and invite people to come and talk to me <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't know what would happen whatever to me. it is <laughs>